Hey everybody, I'm Lance Koike. Today we're going to discuss, we're going to elaborate on the video that we did last time. We're going to start to pick out the differences between different types of anaerobic activities. So if you remember, there's two anaerobic energy systems. One is the lactic anaerobic system and one is the alactic anaerobic system. That alactic system is active for really intense, really short bouts of exertion and that lactic anaerobic energy system is your buffer between that short system and the longer system, the aerobic system that requires oxygen. So uh, let's try to think of some examples. So if I do a set of one, two or three in the gym on my deadlift or my bench or my squat or whatever, uh, those activities are alactic anaerobic. I'm generally using a lot more weight or I'm moving it a lot faster and it doesn't last for more than 10 seconds. Okay. And that's kind of our, our generally our cutoff 10, maybe eight, maybe 15 seconds. You know, you could give it a, a broader range there. That is an alactic anaerobic energy system activity. But if we bump the reps up and we elongate the rest or the, the work period here, then let's say I do six reps. Well, that's a little, it's still a lot of alactic anaerobic, especially during the first three or four, maybe even five reps, depending on how fast you're moving. Um, but it's going to start getting us into that lactic anaerobic, that buffer middle system. Um, and as we draw that set out even longer as we do 10, maybe 12, maybe 15 reps, then it becomes more and more lactic anaerobic, right? We get closer and closer to that aerobic energy system, but, you know, and, and we still, you know, we talked about the pie, right? We're still using all three of these systems. We're still going to maximize our utilization of that alactic anaerobic energy system. But as we get going longer and longer and longer down through this activity, the lactic anaerobic system is taking up some of the slack. We're creating more lactate. We're feeling that burn in our muscles. Not again, not caused by the lactate. Okay, lactate is just a byproduct that goes to the liver and we use for energy. But those things, those processes, those byproducts are generally related. So, I mean, I like to think about it in sets because I like to weightlift. Um, what else could we could we think of? So, like, if it if a shorter um, activity, maybe I take bags up one flight of stairs. And that would be a little bit more alactic anaerobic. Um, and let's let's keep going through alactic examples here. Um, so we take that one flight of stairs. If maybe uh, I do a jump in a basketball game or a, a fast break down the court, those are generally more alactic anaerobic. Um, if I want to, you know, yell really loudly, maybe I'm at a concert and I'm really enjoying myself. Maybe I'm in a mosh pit and I need to uh, make sure somebody knows not to mess with me. Then those are good examples of full maximal short exertion with the alactic anaerobic energy system. So stay tuned. We'll talk about the next one soon.